So like I said, we're gonna go through an overview of the entire digestive system. As we just did, but now a little bit more detail in terms of which of these processes is happening in different portions of that alimentary canal. We're then gonna go back to, to them and look at them in more detail. So this is a video you may wanna refer back to after you've done um, next week's videos that have go through everything. Should be a review at the end as well. So these are the processes we're gonna be talking about. Ingestion, propulsion, so that is a type of movement right? We're propulsing something, movement through the canal, mechanical breakdown, and chemical breakdown. These together are digestion. Digestion is the breakdown of food by mechanical forces, so teeth, stomach churning, um, as well as by enzymes. Enzymes are going to cleave bonds um, of chemicals, so that's chemical breakdown. Then we've got absorption, so that's actually taking the food products, the glucose, amino acids, and having them go into the cells and then into the bloodstream. So taking nutrients into the bloodstream. Defecation, getting rid of the waste at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a very simple schematic of our digestive system, our alimentary canal specifically, and um, tell you what this stuff is as we go. So oral cavity, pharynx, esophagus. This is not going to be super anatomically correct, but approximate. Stomach, small intestine, tons of small intestine, large intestine. And out. Right, so this is not correct in terms of like relative length, um, but you kind of have an idea of what this stuff is. I will pause to label these. There we are, we've got our parts labeled. Ingestion is only gonna happen once. It's gonna happen right here. So I'm gonna put that arrow and a big star. We ingest food through our oral cavity through our mouth. And then our oral cavity is going to be where the first processes of digestion occur. What happens in the mouth? Well, we've got mechanical breakdown. Our teeth are gonna do that. We've got a little bit of chemical breakdown. We've got a couple of enzymes that are secreted in the mouth, in the saliva that start breaking down um, fats and sugars. Then and lastly, we have propulsion. That's mostly the job of kind of the back of the oral cavity through the pharynx and then down the esophagus, so swallowing. So we're going to continue on with propulsion is the actually the only job of the esophagus um, and pharynx. Propulsion technically like a little bit in oral cavity because your, your tongue actually pushes the food back. Propulsion has to happen through all these. Just give you a spoiler. Okay, so we are in the stomach, right? Because all the esophagus did was be a muscular tube that propulses food down to the stomach. We'll talk about that process later. In the stomach, a big job of the stomach is going to be mechanical breakdown. There's churning that happens. Actually, I will add a little detail here. This is chewing primarily. The stomach churns, there's these mixing waves, the, this muscular, right? So it's mixing it up, mechanical breakdown. There is also some chemical breakdown, um, what we'll talk about later. Absorption starts here. Not everything is absorbed in your stomach, but some things are. So you may have heard, right, drinking alcohol in an empty stomach, um, you get drunker, that's be quicker. That's because alcohol is absorbed by your stomach. Um, so if the alcohol has access to the stomach um, epithelial cells, it will be absorbed. Many foods do not get absorbed in the stomach. So I could do these, I suppose, relative size. Oops, I didn't mean to take away that one. This one's kind of small. Chemical absorption could be a little smaller than mechanical. 
don't worry about the, those details. It's just, this is the truth. And I will want you eventually to know the relative importance. Like what's the main function of the stomach? It's going to be mechanical breakdown, digestion, Absorption is not as important as in the stomach. I said eventually I want you to know that, but now I'm telling you it now. In the small intestine, however, we're gonna have, um, well, all of these happen still. It does vary throughout the small intestine, so I don't wanna go to that detail right now. I want to tell you that basically all four things are gonna happen. You know we have to have propulsion occur because we gotta get the food through. There's some mechanical breakdown um, along with that propulsion. It's a mechanism that these can happen together called segmentation. We definitely have chemical breakdown. We're gonna have secretions from the um, liver and pancreas that are contributing to this. So digestive enzymes from these two that are going to be those enzymes that do the chemical breakdown largely. So this is big, let's make this really a big one. And then absorption is also very big. And again, we'll come back to how throughout the small intestine, this varies. So this is mostly at the end of the small intestine here. Okay, now we're going to our large intestine. This is going to be propulsion. We've got to get that stuff out. Um, it's different, different names here. It's actually called mass movements that um, push the feces at this point through. We've got not much mechanical breakdown at this point. There's just, it's already happened. Um, most of the absorption of the nutrients has actually already happened. So it's really not much more mechanical to do. There is still some chemical breakdown. So we kind of haven't been gotten finished with that. That's actually partly due to the bacteria in, in here as well are gonna to contribute to that chemical breakdown. And then we also have absorption. Absorption in the small intestine is, is very important. This is a lot um, of water and vitamins at this point. Again, most of the glucose, amino acids, fats have already been absorbed in the small intestine. Okay, I think we got that. And then we have defecation occur one place, hopefully in the toilet, unless you're in the wilderness and dug a hole out the anus. All right, that's our lovely overview. Learning check. In which three regions of the GI tract does mechanical digestion occur? Which regions does chemical digestion occur? And what about absorption? I'm gonna bring up a complicated figure and I want you to, it's a nice resource. So I want you to have this as well. A lot of the details in this figure are things that you won't, won't be familiar to you yet. This buccal phase of swallowing, deglutination, um, the process of swallowing, the peristaltic waves. So, those details we're going to get to. This is the detailed overview that at the end of this whole um, two weeks is a great review at the end. But we can use it right now to answer these questions.